that day where I finally decorate the base and clean up this mess. Hey folks, Whip here, and welcome to Hardcore Skyblock. I've survived over 3,000 days in my hardcore Minecraft world with every block at my disposal. I'm taking on the challenge to see how long I can survive in the void, where falling off means the end of the series. While building the new very deadly slime farm, I was able to completely fill out my dripstone farm, and I just need to gather it up real quick. However, the lava farm being my only fuel source, uh, this needs some love. So let's first fill out all of the pointed dripstone and it is filled out. Excellent. Now from here, we can take all of the lava out of the cauldrons and move this on top. First row is complete and a tiny bit of a start on the second. Now, if I take all this iron down here, we can craft another 15 cauldrons and a load of iron trapdoors where the cauldrons can fill out this line and the trapdoors are gonna go on top here so I don't accidentally fall inside the lava. We'll add in the rest as we get the lava. Yeah, that's what I need up there. Lava. So I had to hang out for a few minutes and we got the rest of the lava in, which means the trapdoors can go on top. No, please, 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 please. No. Oh, well, there's another. All done. I should probably take the water back. Now we should have as much fuel as we're ever going to need. I turned on the villager breeder a little while ago, and I think it's went a wee bit crazy in here, and we've got a ton of them. So I'm thinking we can redirect the track from here and bring in a full new section of toolsmith villagers so we can keep getting even more emeralds. You know what? What if I move this guy over to there and we just use this section? That that could work that sounds intelligent excuse me sir time to get in a minecart no okay minecart no look at this nice composter woo yay get in the minecart there we go easy i just need a lot more rails in here when did you get in here <laughs> there's just a villager in here already okay perfect one down i kind of forgot powered rails are a thing in here so i grabbed a few no i didn't i just got dust where'd my redstone torches go i did make them i put them back Good job, me. Good job. Farmer Villager has now been relocated, and we can tear these tracks back up. I'm completely out of gold, though, so let's jump into the nether before we get any further villagers moved, as the powered rails are very nice to have. Oh, look at this. All my best friends are still over here. That should hopefully be enough gold to make a few rails. Last item we're gonna need here is going to be 17 smithing tables, which hopefully means a lot of iron trades. I think it's time for a little bit of an upgrade here. Villagers, please take a step back. There we go. So I don't have to keep luring the villagers out if I just bring the rail in here. This makes things a lot more claustrophobic, but hopefully a little bit easier. You not, are you not able to walk out of there? There he goes. Powered rails are great. I love this. First villager is in place. Second villager is in place and third villager. I had a good rhythm down at this point. So I just rolled through adding in all of the remaining villagers into their new stalls. And this is looking pretty good with a ton of toolsmiths around here. Now I just need to uh, go through and unlock them and hopefully they trade iron. Well, four emeralds. And this section should never need these rails back here again, which feels great to finally clean up part of the skyblock base. We need to get every single one of these villagers up to level two, so I just gotta buy a ton of stone tools and hope that we get the iron trade. First one, yes, iron. Lovely as these tools are, I'm never gonna use them. completely run out of emeralds at this point in time and we're up to here but every single one of these villagers currently trades iron for emeralds and that is so nice not sure how lucky that is on every single one of them having it but i'm pretty happy about it quick stop at the lovely neighborhood iron farm where i've got to clear out a few weeds but now i can run around and turn all of these iron ingots into emeralds i'm starting to think uh toolsmith villagers always have the iron trade because that's every single one and i love it look how many emeralds we got look at it i think while i'm in the groove of getting villagers moved in over on that side i want to fill it with farmers so grabbing a few more carrots we're gonna need a lot more children in this world so you guys can have the carrots oh they're all falling down that hopefully won't be a problem as we wait for the magic to happen let's grab some moss here and some azalea bushes heading over to my beautiful island that i don't want to ruin right now we can plant a few of these down and bone meal them up into some trees as i want all of these azalea leaves to build a few custom trees around the island we're trying to beautify this thing up today and uh i think we need some trees
there's the first round done and i think we can get a few more in here i'm just gonna go until these shears die which is right now from here i grab some emeralds and we can come over to the stone masons where i want to find polished granite and turn that into a ton of slabs this might be a little dumb but i've got an idea for something cool that i want to try so if we come down here just a few blocks like probably into there and don't fall off don't fall off don't fall off don't fall off please Okay, it's fine. If we come out by three blocks diagonally, I want to build some floating flower boxes of sorts. And we end up with something a little like this. On top of all the granite, we're gonna add in some spruce logs and strip them all the way down. Then for my own personal sanity here in the center, we're gonna add in moss blocks, but you know what? First, I wanna get rid of these, co these cobble slabs just to clean it up from underneath because I've cared so much about the underneath in this place already. I definitely need to put the time into it. On top of our spruce, we can do some more granite slabs. How did you get a child escaped? Oh, I took, yep, he walked out under there. Okay, you know what? Never mind. We'll deal with that in a minute. Because from here, I want to add in some of my favorite trees. Some little azalea cypress trees. MLG! Nailed it. Do I build this tree in every series I do? Yep. Am I going to keep doing it? Yep. MLG! Nailed it. And the tree's in. And one more tree on the far side. An extra tree is here in the middle to balance things out. And I have so many poppies in this world from the iron farm. So we're just gonna use them to decorate. For the open places here in the middle, I got some mangrove leaves and I think we can just throw them along like that. Yeah, uh, that tree is supposed to be on that block. It's off. You know what? It's, hi, hi. Happy little accident, right, buddy? Happy little accident. Enjoy your time on the little island. You're gonna uh, look at him. But I like that. I think that's gonna work out really well. With the first one in place, I need to bring balance to the block. So I'm working to complete the circle around the mob farm with the additional islands. This took a bit longer than expected, but I'm really happy I took the time to do it. I love how I have all these decorative trees, flower boxes, and then just bleh. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Probably won't get to the mob farm today, but I want to remove every other gross structure here in the middle. Starting with the mob farm, as first we're going to need a ton of composters, which we can craft right here. Grabbing my mine carts and powered rails. Oh, I still need to fill out seven more stonemasons too. We'll get to them in a minute. As first, I want to focus on the farmers and not get distracted again. There's just a few of them in here, so we can start bringing them out with the mine carts. There you go. Number two and number three cat wait wait i don't think i have that cat yet oh i do he's right there creeper protection network will be expanded get bigger first farmer's in second farmer's in there's the third four five six oh no 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 that's not good seven eight and nine's being difficult but they're in place now just like the rest of the villagers are all now in place i still have a few leftovers so we're just gonna move the stone masons in too and somehow for the first time today i need a little stone to craft seven more stone cutters because boy oh boy am i having so much fun moving villagers to today i'm having so much fun moving villagers today yay Oh no, wow, that's so sad. How did that happen? Oh no, wow. And there goes the last villager. Finally time to clean up these rails. And another for the creeper protection force. Because I was having so much fun moving villagers around, I decided to move two more of them. Where'd they go? Right down here to the end. Just in case I need to build a new villager breeder, we can have those ready to go. As in an effort to pretty up the base today, I think it's finally time to get rid of the original. There goes the breeder itself. And now for all of these extras. Um, oh no, somehow they fell to their demise. Wow, how did that happen? You're a slippery one, but I'm good at spleef. Aha. Villager breeder is now completely gone, but I will say it is a little weird to get rid of our shack in here as this is kind of the way that we got our original zombies. So I'm thinking instead we kind of corner things off right there and get rid of this entire sticky outy bit. Don't jump. You can't make it. Don't do it. The nether portal over here though, 
Uh, it needs to be moved to. Let's put all of my goodies back for now. Now, before I do break it down, I need to make a quick trip into the nether as I don't have a way to relight the portal currently. So we need to take all of our gravel in here and we'll take the black stone. Why not? And the soul sand, obsidian, and all the ender pearls we can get. Now, I just need to mine this down until I can get a piece of flint. Okay, thank you. That works great to make flint and steel. Thankfully, I have diamond tools in this world so we can tear this down decently fast, just not terribly slowly. And we get it back. Right, and with this up here, we can just tear down the rest of this platform. Excuse me, y'all are being very loud in here. Very, very loud. Much better. Okay, this is all cleared out in here now. And for the sake of being able to just link everything back together, I think I'm just gonna put the portal here. Oh, it's gonna cut into the roof. It will be fine. We'll be fine. Nobody's gonna know. And hopefully this links to the same portal. Yes. Yes, it does. Perfect. We can put the glowberry curtain back on this side so it kind of just grows down and keeps the same vibe. And nobody's gonna know. Nobody, no, they're not gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. I don't always make time to clean up my world and just improve old things. I always like to build new things, but this is just so nice coming along here and <laughs> it's so bad. Nobody's gonna know, it's fine. But it's so nice just coming along and fixing and removing all the old gross things and making new gross things. Now my new decorative tree island thingies here did mess up a few things I will own up to. So currently to get around here, to get over to the original wheat farm, actually the only wheat farm, I have to go all the way around like like that and this is currently my only water source in the world that like i can draw from oh no we have the big pond i don't need this at all that's out of the way to get to absolutely nothing out at the mangrove island you know we're just gonna do it all we're tearing all of this out today no we can get frogs there we're leaving that change of mind <laughs> we're leaving the gross skyblock days behind we're fixing everything today with a big asterisk on that because there's a lot of things to fix I think what I'm going to do here is instead of sending ourselves back over that way, we're actually going to try and link in underneath the existing ramps that we have right in here. I should have actually brought some slabs with me. That would be helpful. Or I can come in here just needing to crouch. Then we have the ladder and we can get out. And that's going to be our access point to the lower ring on all the different corners, hopefully. With the new access point figured out, I don't need the rest of the starter platform anymore. So I removed it. And already this looks so much better. Just, uh ignore the cobble gen for now like it's not even there now i want to decorate this outer cobblestone ring and remove a lot of the cobble because y'all are yelling at me to do it so uh let's get it done first step here is to unlock our stone mason villagers and see what new terracotta trades we can get oh we've got cyan terracotta here that'll be huge and i want some polished anisite too these are gonna take a little longer to unlock than i thought they would but we've got some options for now i want to make every single one of the sides unique so we can start over here on the south end and create this sort of an egg shape here that we can use a trim out of our polished andesite that we just got on the inside i really want to try sand terracotta but uh i definitely need some more because i'm gonna have like a million of them let's try chiseled stone bricks inside of this which i do like quick trip to the iron farm for some iron whereas this is the industrial district i think here in the middle we could replace these with some iron blocks kind of symbolizing industrial district this way the rest of the iron is going straight into more emeralds which we can use to buy even more terracotta and i'm so close to finishing up the ring i was thinking and i gotta be really careful about this gear but i want to grab a little bit of our glow lichen bone mealing it for even more but something like this as soon as we can replace that cobblestone to cyan terracotta i think i like that now i don't want to leave the rest of this gross mess out here as all cobblestone as well so we're gonna bring in a little bit of our stone and create like a large circle going around this on the outside of this again you guessed it we're going for another line out of the chiseled stone bricks to be a bit of a cap that's not gonna work coming up the stairs here so we gotta find some stone brick last the cyan terracotta and glow lichen is now in place and i like that i think that's gonna work out really well from here i went around and assembled the base plan along the other sides before adding in the unique color elements we're going into our grassy island i want the middle here to be dirt blocks and then on the outside we can remove this cobblestone and add in some green terracotta which we can again cover with our glow lichen for the inner trim and the dirt leading into the storage room i want to remove the middle here replacing it with stripped mangrove logs 
and glow lichen on top and then magenta terracotta going around the outside now for the last side here we've got our moss blocks and i need a little more glow lichen so we can just bone meal that here i'm trying to make the outsides all drastically different colors that especially i can see being colorblind so this one is going to be yellow terracotta this just gives a great pop for the base now and i love it i removed a lot of the starter and core sky block things today so i want to make sure i add those back in starting with the most important one on each side water over on our dirt island we actually have a fishbowl where somebody told me we can take four seagrass oh achievement and turn oh my gosh you can you can turn it into kelp thank you for kelping me in the comments below i appreciate it i got so excited i forgot to get a second bucket of water if we take some polished anisite we can create a few stairs where we're gonna need 12 of them we've got dark oak stairs and then we've also got spruce fences my thought is in all of the back locations where we need it or where we might need some water we can just create a little well along the edge stack up our fences and dark oak stairs along the top not exactly centered back here but i kind of like it and then that'll give us an infinite water source the even wide one is a little off so i actually want to come back here and bring in a three wide one and we can just bring this down and kind of sink it down into the base no 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 catch me catch me catch me oh okay 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 we're fine okay we're fine okay we got a floor we've got a nice little floor right here for all of our water now that we have our little tub of water we can do a little border around the side and i'm not shaking no it's fine gonna kind of block the pathway but we can expand that later then over here we can just do some spruce fences and we can top it with a little something like that which i actually kind of like now if i ever need it i can come anywhere inside of here and grab all of the water and the block and the block and the block please yes over in the industrial district we're kind of going with the white theme here so i think i'm going to stick with this one and we can come in on the inside and just bring a little bit more of our diorite down underneath iron trap doors can go around the edge and then the water will sit right here where we can just take it from the middle and that'll stay as an infinite source not sure if this is making the space small spawnable after we got rid of the lantern but let's bring some glowstone out and we can just hide some uh, trap doors here on the corners which looks yeah, okay I just don't really want to showing in the middle is the problem I guess I do have the extra trap door so we can just do something like that so it encourages me to only take out of the middle and that actually looks pretty good a lot of smaller jobs knocked off today on the skyblock island and I'm extremely happy with the base now leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and I'll catch y'all on the flip side